everyone welcome to ng classes youtube channel in this video lecture we'll consider an input output relation y of n is equal to x of n plus 1 plus x of n plus x of n minus 1 the task is to determine is this system stable and causal so let me consider testing this system for the first condition that is stability so let me check this is this system stable or not to test the system for stability uh, initially we should know the condition for any system to be stable the condition is for every bounded input must result in a bounded output what does that mean we'll make the input finite check that is output also going to be finite if yes the answer is stable else the answer is unstable uh, let me write the same thing in the mathematical form I said consider the input and make it bounded so I'll consider the magnitude of that which is less than or equal to mx where mx is any finite number that is less than infinity so make the input finite if x of n is finite then check the output the magnitude of the output y of n is less than or equal to my where my is any finite positive num finite number is it less than infinity if yes the system is stable so now consider the given thing in case in this case y of n I'll consider the magnitude of this is equal to what is that x of n plus 1 plus x of n plus x of n minus 1 so let me consider the same thing magnitude of x of n plus 1 plus x of n plus x of n minus 1 now simplifying this further magnitude of y of n is less than or equal to so now uh, this is magnitude of a can also be written as magnitude of a plus magnitude of b but this will be less than that value less than or maximal equal to that value so I can take that magnitude inside so that it becomes magnitude of x of n plus 1 plus magnitude of x of n plus magnitude of x of n minus 1 is this fine therefore this is less than or equal to what I'm going to get now magnitude of x of n I said it is equal to it is less than or equal to mx input is bounded so what about these things x of n plus 1 is the shifted version of x of n and x of n minus 1 is also the shifted version of x of n uh, we know that by shifting the bound on the shift will not change I repeat the sentence by shifting the bound on the input will not change is this fine therefore this is also equal to mx and plus this is also equal to mx so this is less than or equal to 3 times of mx so is this less than infinity yes this is less than infinity so therefore uh, what is the answer the answer is the given system is stable is this fine so ultimately I would say that the given system is stable yes moving ahead I have to check the same system for causality so let me write the second property that is causality so let me check the system for causality to check the system for causality we should know that the condition for, for a system to be uh, causal the statement says that the output the present value of the output should depend on the present or past values of the input is this fine the output y of n should depend on the present value of the input or the past value of the input but should not depend on future value such a system is causal in case if the present value of the output y of n depends on future value the system is non-causal considering y of n in this case y of n is equal to x of n plus 1 plus x of n plus 
x of n minus 1 so this y of n is the present value of the output it depends on first let me consider this x of n x of n is nothing but the present value of the input yes satisfied what is x of n minus 1 this is nothing but the past value of the input and what is x of n plus 1 x of n plus 1 is nothing but the future value of the input before the input is applied I should know what is x of n plus 1 to get y of n therefore the my answer is the system is non causal are you getting it the system is non causal what is the reason the present value of the output depends on the future value of the input hence the system is non causal so we have considered this numerical to test for stability as well as causality i hope you people have understood if there are any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section i would definitely answer those doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel ng classes for more videos till then thank you so much for watching